do it with me, y'all. Inhale. Hold it. Three, two, one. One more. Inhale. Hold it. Three, two, one. Doesn't that feel good? Just to take a deep breath. Man, I just, I literally came on here to talk. <laughs> this, this is a Keeping Tabs reset. This is a reset. I don't know where I meet you today in your journey. Maybe you just need more refresher or maybe you're seeking renewal. Your girl needs a reset. I mean, old school Nintendo, take the cartridge out, blow up in that thing, try it again, shut it, boom, bang, let's go. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to come on, you know, this is a, this is a safe space. I, uh, I'm recording this on a self-care Sunday, uh, which is proven to be magnificent. And um, I am at a spa, and this is not a commercial, um, but this is where I am, you know. This is uh, a good place that I wanted to be to bring you really good energy um, wherever you are right now. And so, um, you know, self-care looks like so much for so many different people. It does not have to be a day away at the spa. It could be on your balcony, on your porch, reading a book, that time you sit in your car before you get out, you know, talking to the universe, talking to your spirit guides, talking to God, talking to your friends. Self-care could be social interaction. That could be therapeutic for you. All I am trying to say is that everybody's going through something and we collectively are going through a lot. We're going through so much. And the fact that, you know, society wants us to just continue to, to move forward and, and work and, and continue to go as if we're not all suffering through trauma is insane. We're all living in a raging dumpster fire. Wages aren't going up. Gas, groceries, rent, diapers, formula, prescription, meds. Everything's rising but wages. I just... This isn't a soapbox. This is just a, a, a safe space to just check in. This is a pulse check. A lot of my close friends, y'all know that's what I call our time. When we talk on the phone, it's just a pulse check. 2021, the second half of 2021, was absolutely life altering for me. Um, gut wrenching unforgettable unfortunate painful unexpected joyful beautiful full of love i celebrated three weddings in the second half of the year missed two because i simply just cannot you know even though pto was prepared the others i couldn't even prepare myself you know, so I have five beautiful brides in my life this year. Um, I got to go home for my birthday and Christmas. Um, I have breath in my body. Adi, adi. So it was a lot. It was a lot. And I had such, you know, drafted and working on this vlog. I had all these episode ideas. And, using my adventures and using my platform to inspire and, and it uplift and you know I thought I was coming on here to do some teaching and uh, life had to do me some you know the teacher became the student quickly quickly mm -hmm. and you know there's no handbook on grief There's no handbook. There's no timeline. 
there are no rules to grief. Um, but grief isn't always what I've gone through, which is the loss of a loved one. Grief is losing a job, losing a relationship, moving to a new city, losing familiarity, losing friendship. You know, I, I think a lot of people are going through some type of grief. So this is just a, a reminder to check, to, to pause, to breathe, to uplift to pray, to take your time, give yourself grace, accept mistakes, keep going, take a break, take a nap, and just take a moment and give thanks. So make sure that you say one thing out loud right now that you're grateful for. Well, don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Did you say it? Okay. Well, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being with me. I'm excited to see where the second half of season one takes us. Uh, getting ready to get some snowboarding in, working on my tricks. Working on keeping my body intact. <laughs> Preparing for another fun year of travel. And, you know, we say all this and God's really in control. So I really don't know what I'm going to be doing in the next year. But I send you good vibes, good energy, a good day, a good night, a good week, a good month, and a good year. And just make sure you take the time to check on yourself, check on others. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to slow down. Comparison is the thief of joy. What's for you won't miss you. And I'm saying this really to talk to myself. Y'all just happen to be here. <laughs> God bless you. Stay healthy. Stay safe. It says the replacing of something that is worn down or broken is <laughs> the accuracy for me. <laughs> I am renewed, I am healed, I am strong, I am loved, I am worthy, and I am healed.